Hey guys, welcome to the shop. So behind me, sitting on the next rolling chassis for the current customer project. This is Tesla based again, this is rear wheel drive. Um, everybody knows what a resto mod is. This is the next generation of that, call it electro mod, call it uh, whatever you want, but this is inevitably where I see the industry going eventually. Now it's very early in that stage um, and I will get a lot of hate for that, but <clears throat> I am old enough that I remember a time when fuel injection was gonna kill the hot rod industry. If you didn't have a carburetor, you weren't a true hot rodder. So we've kind of seen it all and um, the industry evolves as, as everything does. Um, yeah, I really wanted to show you guys around the shop, give you a, a glimpse at what we're capable of here, but the shop to me most days is similar to that picture you see floating around of Homer Simpson standing in front of Marge. You know, the front side of them is looking all buff, but the back side's kind of all strapped together, um, all the fat on the back. That's kind of what the shop looks like most days. So we're just gonna stick to the chassis for today. Uh, if anybody has any questions, if anybody wants to know anything at all about these chassis or the projects, feel free to leave me a comment. I do try to get to all the comments in a timely manner. I'm a one man show here, so I don't have a ton of time to spend on that, but I will try to get back to anybody who has any sort of questions. Um, I appreciate you guys rocking with me and uh, thanks a lot. So a few things I want to highlight on this. First off, this is a two wheel drive, just a rear wheel drive chassis. If you were following along, the last one I did for the Galaxy was all wheel drive. This one is going to be just strictly rear wheel drive. So this is my own front suspension I designed for this thing. So what I did was I made my own spindle so this is designed and CNC'd here. This spindle incorporates the Model 3 front brakes and wheel bearing assembly. But what it does is it eliminates the McPherson strut. So this is more of a hot rod style front suspension. So this is double A-arm fully adjustable upper A-arm for camber caster adjustments, tubular upper and lowers. This is a coil over mount. So this bar that I have in it is just what I set the ride height up with. So that bar comes out and this gets a hot rod style coil over in it. This uses a manual steering rack. So there is no parasitic loss from power steering, so no electric power steering or no uh, hydraulic power steering on this. It's just a close ratio manual rack. So a couple cool things this does. This gets, um, this gets rid of that McPherson strut. So this is designed for lower profile hoods. The Galaxy just had enough room to sneak that full strut in there, but this one, um, this one has a, a relatively low profile front hood going on it. So I needed something a little bit lower. And the other cool thing it does is it keeps the same bolt pattern front to rear. So anybody that's doing Tesla swaps, that's an entire Model 3 drive in the back. This allows them to use the same bolt pattern front to rear, same offset. Um, this sets the track width the same as the back. So stock Tesla track width. So you can use stock Tesla rims. And again, then it matches the brakes front to rear. So you're using the Tesla brakes in the rear. You can match them with the ones in the front. Um, I'm using a uh, chopped down Model 3 battery in this. So this battery is a 50 kilowatt battery. And the early Model 3s, when you got the standard range pack, it was a 50 kilowatt pack. Um, Tesla supplied those with short modules. So the case, the form factor was the same in all of them, but the modules inside this one were a little bit shorter. So what I was able to do is take the modules out, strip this down completely, 
and I cut 16 inches out of this battery pack. Redid some of the cooling system and then packaged it all back together. So that allowed me to get a wheelbase of 98 inches. So this is about as short as I can possibly make these chassis using the floor mounted battery like this. Now, one thing I did have to do, you'll notice this doesn't have a penthouse on it. Um, this is getting a divorced penthouse. And the reason is I need to get as much leg room as possible in this car. And that penthouse is kind of in the way. So this is gonna get all closed in. The penthouse is gonna be remounted somewhere else. And that gains me probably a solid 10 inches of leg room. So this is a complete Model 3 rear drive. I'm using the entire Tesla cradle in the rear. So this uses Tesla CVs and all the Tesla geometry. But again, I am respringing this with a hot rod coilover. So this uses a coilover suspension front and rear. So the, one of the major benefits to that is once I have this car fully assembled, pretty much fully done, it gets scaled, so it gets corner weights taken. And then I can order springs based off of actual corner weights. And we have the best, the best ride, the best handling possible out of this thing. So this chassis gives us about six inches of ride height. So nice and low. I'll show you some of the complexity to the chassis to work around this battery. It's a bit of a challenging one. Normally the chassis st extends out another 16, 18 inches from here, giving you mounting for front bumper and core support and that sort of stuff. This, um, this is getting attached to a unibodied car. That's why I cut this thing off as a, a stubby front end. Once the unibody is welded to it, the front of the donor car makes up the whole rest of the structure for the front. So this is gonna actually end up being a little kit car. It's gonna be a Ferrari kit car but rear wheel drive electric. So the purists are gonna love me for that one. If anybody has any questions, um, I'm sure there's lots I left out, but I'm happy to answer any sort of questions you guys got if, uh, if you guys are curious. Got a couple more of these on the books. So the next one coming up is gonna be all wheel drive again. The way that I manufactured the spindle, I've already set it up that a CV joint will fit through it. So I'm gonna to try to do a similar double A arm style, low profile hot rod front end, rework that coilover mount and a little bit of this front cross member and get uh, a hot rod style front drive as well. So that'll be a cool thing.